Well guys, I've just arrived at uh, Sao Beach and would you believe it, it's overcast, cloudy and I'm feeling a few specks of rain. That's just typical of my luck when we go to any beach. So I'm going to have a look through anyway. I'm going to take you around the beach, show you how beautiful it is and hopefully we get some sunshine. You get a little walk through here. Loads of shops and restaurants. I don't know how open they are because of the current situation, but uh, we'll see anyway. It's quite quiet. Got toilets and showers. And actually lockers down there as well, I think. You can get some towels if you don't want to bring your own towel. I can see jet skis out there, power boats. Okay. Well, it's not going to be the, uh, <laughs> the pristine, beautiful sunshine that I was expecting, but uh, you can see the sand. I'm going to take my, take my Converse off. I always wear shoes when I'm riding the bike. You see the sand, so oh, gorgeous. God, soft sand. We've got kayaks here as well. I think you can still appreciate the beauty even if the sun isn't shining. It may do, the clouds may disappear soon. As you can see, it's quite a bit, lot of entertainment on the, well, a lot of little bars and uh, fruit juice drinks and a little swing there, coconut. We've got a banana boat, jet skis, power boat. Little rubber rings for the kids. Plenty of deck chairs. So I'll take a walk up the beach for you guys. Show you what it's all about. And hopefully I'll get I'll be able to get the drone flying above. The sand's nice and soft. Beautiful sand. Nice beach. Better than the beach I'm at at the moment. But that's South Beach is meant to be the best in Pooh Quok. So see how clear the water is. Oh yeah, how oh, clear that is guys. See my feet through there. And my long toenails as somebody pointed out. Cheers Thomas. <laughs> I'm very bad at that. So guys, this is Sao Beach. Or Ban, Ban Sao. Bai Sao, sorry, Bai Sao. Lovely. Water so clear. Lovely to walk in. And it, the thing with this water, from what I remember, is it's, it's very shallow, far out as well. So those kids, those 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 guys are probably kneeling down. If you stand up, you'll see how how shallow it is. You can't get tired of this beach, I tell you. It's such a shame, it's so far away from our resort. Uh, Nat and Wilming would have loved it to come down here. Um, but, you know, Nat's 20 weeks pregnant, so he can't expect her to ride an hour on the motorbike to get here and walk around the prison. <laughs> that's, not, uh, that's not happening. See, it's quite disappointing in some areas. And I, I will point out the bad stuff. It's not, I'm not glorifying everything. But I'm not sure if this, I've, I've seen other videos, I've seen uh, a couple doing it, uh, actually picking up litter and I commend those guys doing that. That was brilliant, but I think I'd, I'd need a month. I don't know which area they did. I'm, they may have done further up. If you're watching guys, let us know where you did it, but that, that's just not on. But that is. <laughs> so, there are good, good and bad bits about this beach, and any beach in Vietnam to be honest, but uh, when you're at a resort like we are, the, the area gets cleaned in front of the resort. And uh, it happened when I was, I was in Vietnam 10 years ago doing the bike trip through Vietnam I went on loads of beaches and what I found was all the resort look at that swing in the water 
<laughs> nice one. That's an Instagram post, isn't it? What I noticed was all the resorts, you know, the, the beachfront there was immaculate. As soon as the beach resort ended, it was just full of full of rubbish. I found it in Moon A, in the Chang. And uh, actually Da Nang was probably the, the, the cleanest because it's so vast, I think uh, it just gets swept out. <laughs> if you're living in Da Nang and you, you know how they keep the beach cleaner, let us know. But uh, this beach is still wonderful to come to and uh, definitely worth a trip down here on a bike or if you want to take a private car, we can sort that out for you. You see, there's plenty of little areas where you can go and eat sit and relax, a few beers, cocktails, some food, especially if you're in a private car. Loads of little deck chairs there. I'll try and find out how much they are. I'll see if they've got like a price list or anything. Ah, oh, here we go. Got some water sport prices as well. So, a floating bed, 100,000, unlimited. Sub boat, 30 minutes, 120,000. Kayak, one, one person, 120, two, 150. 30 minutes got a pedal boat there <laughs> I haven't seen them ah oh, they're up there I think parasailing I didn't know they did that here well there's a video banana boat 700,000 so looks like you can get five or six people on there looks like six flyboard I'm not sure that's actually here now jet ski 10 minutes 450,000 that's quite steep isn't it 10 minutes Bloody hell, I, get, I can get lost in less of time. So, as you can see, there is some water spots. Not sure how, how much the beds are, I'll find out. There's more Instagram pictures. It's fantastic. They do like setting these things up for the Vietnamese. They, they love it on Instagram. I'm not really, I, we're on it, but we don't, I, I concentrate on YouTube more than anything. <laughs> Try to drown. <laughs> Stick his head in the water. <laughs> so I've got the jet skis. It's a shame, you know. I, I'm such a tight twat. Ten minutes, four hundred fifty thousand. I think it's a bit much. But look at all this: got banana boats, kayaks. Got a huge banana boat. What's this one? Wow! How many people on that? Get six people on that one. There we go, free advertisement. You got the pedal boats. These are like yachts. You've got a slide on it. That's brilliant. I've never seen these before. <gasps> Fantastic. Get out to sea, climb up on the slide. Whew. Looks like you've got to be all the life jackets there. Some of these guys are in uh, wetsuits, so. I'm wondering if they do scuba here as well. The beach, look at it. Whoa. Soft, sand, white, beautiful. We've got more. Looks like we've got like a, a kids water park sort of thing up here as well. I didn't see that. That's a shifty. Ah, uh, yeah, look. Something here, maybe at weekends when there's more people. Look, somebody's out on his jet ski. Brilliant. Well, I hope it clears up, guys, so you can get to see the, the beach in the sunshine. But I think you can agree, it's a... But it, it's, it's got the prospects of being an amazing beach if only the now it's getting a bit windy now you might not be hearing me I didn't bring the the microphone cover because it's it's been too hot it's overheating overheating my GoPro and bad sound is better than a broken GoPro sorry guys <laughs> so yeah it's got the uh, 
potential to be an amazing beach. It's just, yeah, they're, they're not quite into the cleaning up bit. You know, I mean, it's just little bits here. Somebody could just go through this whole beach and just clear it all out, get it all cleaned up. Maybe they're not bothering because the tour the Western tourists aren't here, but uh, as I say, I've seen a couple of videos and those two, the couple that came here and did a, did a, I think it's about an hour, two hours or something. Walk around and clear up. But, uh, that was when, I think that was a year ago, so only just tail end of anyone being here. So we could say this video is about Sao Beach, good or bad. I think the, uh, the good outweighs the bad. It's just a beautiful area. Let's see if I can get my drone up. Not sure I want to take the drone up and see all the trash. Rubbish, sorry. Trash for you Americans. Rubbish for the Brits. I'm not sure who's getting up on this swing. Unless that's uh, when the water's a bit high. But bloody hell, how high is that water going to be to get there? <laughs> so guys, that's the end of the beach really. I'm not sure it's the a good a good day for the drone to be honest we won't get the uh the effect that i was looking for because there's quite a few people here so let's just uh enjoy the water side clear water As you can see, I'm right in there. Yeah. Very clear. Hope you're feeling like you're in the water with us, guys. That's hopefully the that's the effect I'm looking for. Immerse you in what I'm experiencing. I think you agree when the sun shines the actual uh, thumbnail from my journey to full clock the first video was actually a picture I took 10 years ago but yes I do use my own pictures as much as possible there might be one or two on the website that aren't but 98% uh, of my pictures and the picture shows you how it was 10 years ago and the, the view with the sunshine as well so you'll be able to see the possibly the difference or you know with good weather and also a bit quieter as well you see we never had any of this when i was here 10 years ago this has all been picked up in the last couple of years probably last few years Well, it's nice to walk along, get my feet, my feet wet. It's not exactly boiling up, because I say it's overcast, but uh, I'll shut up now <laughs> and let you just take in the waves and scenery.
imagine that on fire. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> So that guy stood there and still quite shallow. I'm up to my knees here actually, so actually it does get a bit depth, I suppose. Kids playing on the swing. Selfies with the jet ski queens. Let's see if I can get a picture of these guys. <laughs> Don't get chance to see many pretty girls with no on the time I've been here, to be honest. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I thought somebody was on that swing and then they disappeared underneath. This is quite, it's still, it's still quiet. It's not uh, a rammed beach. We've been, uh, I mean, guys back in Europe, I've seen beaches in Europe. Man, they're crowded. I did a video on Da Nang Beach, just before the second wave. No, no pun intended. Uh, and I, I was actually talking about uh, how crowded it was on the beach, but actually, <laughs> compared to Europe, there's no bugger on it. All day, I mean, all day there's nobody on it. Four o'clock, 4.30 when the sun goes down a bit, it's a bit cooler. That's when all the Vietnamese and the Asian crowds come out. They want to be playing in the water, not Sunday then all day, like the Brits and the, the other Westerners, the Europeans. Sly, different, different outlook onto a holiday in the beach, by the beach. See, it looks a bit, a bit desolate here. No, no customers, so those restaurants are pretty, pretty much shut down. It's a very sh a bad shame, you know. But here's the, uh, just near where I came on again, onto the beach. I'll take a walk further up as well. This is a full, full-on walk through. I'm not going to bother with the drone. I think it's uh, if it was a better if it was better weather, then maybe it would have been all right. But I'll save the drone for other beaches if I get good weather. In fact, I'm going on a cruise tomorrow, hopefully for my birthday. So I'll hopefully get some good footage of the islands down in the south of Antoy. I'm closer there now actually, but I'm just doing a fleeting visit for a video for you guys. And then going back to the, the family via Ham Ning fishing village. So I'm going to stop off there on the way back this afternoon. So that'll be another video. And the video before this was, oh, the, where I was before this was the Food Pot Prison. So, do check that video out. Now I did get the drone out there. So some good shots of the the prison overhead. You should you wouldn't have saw, seen anywhere else really. Just me walking through this water. Lovely. Good feeling. Oh, and now it's there see. That was just a deep part. Now back to the see how clear that is. Oh, this seems, yeah, see how far those guys are out? It's only up to the waist. And those guys, further out, up to their waist. So you can see it's not very deep at all. But you can hopefully see how clear it is. Beautiful. Well, 
I'm into about a 20 minute video. I'm trying to keep videos about 10 minutes long nowadays, but uh, I think a full walk through of uh, South Beach is worth it. I'm getting soaking wet here. And the converse. It's probably giving you the feeling that you're walking through water, even though you're probably che chilling out and having a, a cup of tea or a beer, depending on when I publish it. I think that's the rain coming. So definitely not get the drone out. That's a shame, guys. But it is what it is. There you go, look, so... Whew. Jesus! Pricey. For me. If you're on holiday, 30 minutes, 1.3 million. That's about $50, $60. $60. Uh, seven people on a banana, so 100,000 each there. Is that? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. I? Three people for a... What the hell is that? Super mate? Maybe? I don't know. Well, it's just starting to rain now. <laughs> awesome. Now, I've seen these loads of places. I'm certainly not getting up there because I don't know if it'll take my weight, but people, I think people go all the way at the top to get a, a selfie. Sod that. Huh? And it costs you 30,000 to fall to your death. <laughs> So I'll have a walk down to the quiet part of the beach. Yeah, I think by the time I'd have got the drone up, it would have been raining, so I'm not risking it. I've already smashed about <laughs> uh, four, six, six blades. I've got two left, but they, uh, yeah, they go, they go quite quick, as people mentioned in the the comments before well that's a view I'll take you all the way around it's not raining much I'll try and cut out the truck the rubbish that's on the edge there <laughs> there we go Okay, last couple of minutes guys, I'll take you to the end so you know what's there. Give you a full detailed look of South Beach. Not many people do that. I won't walk in shot. Oh, the sand here is gorgeous. So soft. Oh man. It's lovely. I mean I'm from the northeast of England. <laughs> Beaches aren't like that. Although I do remember cross country running at school. Our beach our school was just on the beachfront, masked by the sea. And uh, cross country running was on running on soft sand. It wasn't go gorgeous like that. But if you've ever run on sand, one foot forward, and it's like you're taking two two steps back. Absolute knackery. And this looks like a place that's actually open. So. I'm not sure if it's uh, some westerners there actually. But uh, maybe a restaurant of some sort. Yeah. There you go, Sun Lounger, 50,000. Not bad. That's all right. I've seen it more pricier than that before, so 50,000 is not bad. And in, including the towel, so it's a bit rough down here, like. <laughs> Give you the, the good and the bad. Oh, there's about 100 dogs here. 
I wonder if they're nice dogs or it's going to rattle on them. Well, that's basically it, guys. Lovely clear water. Stunning, really cool water as well. It's not boiling up. It's not freezing cold. It's just right. Now what I might do, if I can get rid of my bag and that, I might do a bit of snorkeling, but with the rain coming, I think it's probably not no point. Right guys, that's it for now. South Beach, it's done. If you like the video, click like. Subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, I'm not reaching 2,000 by my 50th, that's for sure. That's tomorrow. <laughs> We've got about 1745, so well, I'm actually at my waist now, I'm getting soaking wet. But uh, basically this, this is South Beach, so please try and help the channel and I'll get to go to more places like this in the future. With the pandemic the way it is, I'll see it another year before anyone's even able to come to Vietnam, which is a crying shame. So anyway, till the next time, cheers guys.